What up, people? This is Bonjo. We're going to check out this famous restaurant here by St. Mark's Gate. What's it called? St. Mark's Gate? St. Martin's Gate? I forget what it is, but it's a thing that everybody takes a picture of. It's in front. It's called the Kaluba Kamzik. And we're going there. It's a beautiful restaurant. Traditional, typical Slovakian food. We're going to probably get... I don't know what we're going to get. We haven't really... We actually haven't really ate anything Slovakian, have we? Just McDonald's. <laughs> and, and yesterday uh, we tried, but it was Vietnamese and yeah. something else. And Canadian. And Canadian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we tried to go to like a local food fest, but it ended up just being all foreign food. So this time we're going to go to Kamzik and we're going to try some typical traditional Slovakian food. Yeah, so we changed our mind. We're not eating at that place. We're going down here because we've seen like a mixed platter. Hopefully my eyes were not lying to me, but I think I've seen a mixed platter. So it gives you a little taste of all the Slovakian food because we don't have that much time, I guess. I mean, this is our last meal probably. Yes, and we really want a very traditional meal. Yeah, so we're going to go up here, see what it is. We're going to try a little bit of everything because we can't just order everything on the menu. <laughs> They had a pierogi platter there for six people. Pierogies for six, That's 85 much. euros. That's crazy. Pierogies? Jeez. But I guess pierogies are part of this world here, so. And this restaurant is just up this way. This restaurant is right here. And I seen walking up, there's a platter right on the bottom window there. So we're gonna try the combo, the Misha combo, huh? The Sladovna Bistro. This one. Huh? Or does that look meat heavy? Waiting for the restaurant, we stumbled upon a Chinese event. A Chinese festival. We're gonna go check this out. A odbor kultúry mestskej časti Bratislava Staré mesto. V priebehu dnešného dňa vám predstavíme jedinečné kultúry tanečného a speváckého domenia. Pravda, že nesmú chýbať ani ukážky bojových umení. Dovolte mi teraz India, China, bunch of different cultures, Indonesia, bunch of different Asian cultures together. So we changed our mind again. We picked this place, it's called Grandmother's. And it's right here in front of the tower. And Grandmother's, a Slovakian, authentic Slovak cuisine. So let's try this out, I don't know. It looks like there's beef goulash, schnitzel, pierogies. What's this one? Homemade cabbage soup with sausage. We just had that, I just, I, I can make that. It's kind of similar to Croatian. I think Croatian's kind of similar to this, actually. But then there's this. Beef stroganoff. No, where is it? Hold on. The Slovak meal for two persons. Chicken, pork, beef, grilled sausage, potato pancake, bacon, roasted potatoes, rice, vegetable, and garnish. Pretty wild. But that's so. This one's 50 euros. This one's 50 euros too. What's this one? Grandmother's plate for two person chicken schnitzel, schnitzel, pork schnitzel, cordon blue rice, roasted potato, vegetable garnish. Pretty good, huh? Two beers now. <laughs> yeah. What kind of beer is this one? Baklash. Baklash. It's, it's, so. it's the one from here. Yep. Yes. Uh, from this side we have only this meal. Only this meal? About one hour later. Okay, okay. So make it uh, long time. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so we can't get that one. So we, this one he just said it takes one hour to make. So we're so we can't have that one. Uh, alright, so well hmm. Beef goulash, he can have beef goulash, right? 
so we can get beef goulash and pierogies. Okay, I will get the pierogi. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch. Yeah. <laughs> we'll switch and trade, you know? Trade and switch, but we're gonna try this beer here. You wanna try beer? Mama needs a beer. <laughs> it's a little different. It's a little bit bitter, huh? This one are all craft beers. Taste. Um, what I like about this is like they give you in a big cup. Not a small little tiny cup. It's not for babies. <laughs> it's for real men. But it's good, huh? Let's have another one. Mm. Hell yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna have, we actually, uh, they didn't have any of the progies, which so we're gonna have the beef stroganoff and we're gonna have what else is it the goulash i think we said all this yeah yeah the beef stroganoff comes with the gnocchi and the beef goulash is beef goulash it's like a soupy beef you know so hopefully it's good because two things that we wanted they didn't have so we're gonna see right <laughs> cheers cheers to that the guy's a sweetheart if I want to say something, I want to say that I'm very happy to be here, that I didn't expect that Bratislava is this beautiful, but it is. It's totally worth it, a day trip from Vienna. Um, I think with two days is more than enough to spend it here. And nothing, it's beautiful. And all the restaurants that look nice, don't they? Yes, but everybody here looks nice. Every, everything looks like luxury, like expensive. <laughs> yeah, like you go, you go in this restaurant. It's crazy nice. It's crazily there. beautiful. They are in every detail, all the um, the architecture, the I don't know the everything. The design, even the plaques on the walls, everything. It's just beautiful. And the food. This is our first. Are, are you excited to try our first Slovakian meal? Uh, of course, I'm always excited about having food. But uh, this could be a big good thing or a big fail because yeah. I'm not guess I'm not used to to have new meals. So let's see. We'll see how it goes. And you were almost ordered the sour sheep cheese, almost. But you uh, went for the beef stroganoff instead. Ah, uh, okay. I don't like sour something. <laughs> yeah, apparently that sour ch sheep cheese is hard to eat for most people, and she doesn't like new things, so it would have been. A little bit crazy, but I think there's like an Asian festival. Like I, we ran into one, and now there's like so many Asians around. But yeah, they're everywhere. They're everywhere here. Oh, wow! Beautiful. This looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you want to try? Everything, huh? It looks crazy, huh? Uh, here. So this is the goulash. Yes, this is the goulash. Try that goulash. That's tender. Mm. Better than mine for sure, eh? Yours is good, but this one tastes so good, amor. <laughs> this the sauce is amazing. Yeah? Mm. The bread looks good too. Yeah. How about the pepper? Is it hot? Is it spicy? I don't know. Let's see this, huh? No, it's not spicy. <laughs> it's good though. It is. I'm going to go. Let's try this one. So we're gonna try this beef stroganoff here. This is like spetzel or something, huh? Special mushroom beef. It's similar to goulash, I think. Well, mm. so good. Okay, this is yours. <laughs> this one is very good. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the big daddy, the big daddy one, eh? Let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is more simple than the goulash I make. They just put sauce and beef. So all the other 
vegetables and stuff is cooked into it. But baby, the goulash is ten times better. Was well, ten times better. Yeah, goulash kills the beef for that. I think we should got two beef goulashes. But you got some more. Look at that. You got to soak up that goodness. Mm. Yeah, that one's a little bit spicy. This pepper is spicy. But you need that spice. Mmm. Garnished with a little red onion. That's some, that's that's some good 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 goulash. <laughs> we were a little bit hungry, huh? Mm. What's your thoughts on that one? No, this one is okay. This one is very good. I yeah. would say it's seven eight because it's good. But after trying the goulash, Jesus, that goulash is amazing. more. <laughs> it's better than mine for mm. sure. Eh? We can be honest here. The thing about this one is, it's thick. My God. It's thick, and you don't see big vegetables everywhere, you know? Like mine, you have, you have vegetables, and it's like more of a soup. This one's more of a, I don't know, thick, 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 thick broth. But we're hungry, aren't we? Yeah, we didn't take picture of here. Any no. picture, we just <laughs> ate it. Just for ate the it. video, everything <laughs> for the video. Yeah, we forgot to take pictures. Jesus. But, hmm. We're gonna kill this and we'll tell you the price and our final reaction. Cause sometimes at the beginning you like it and then you change your mind after. But we'll see you in this one. Mm. Oh man, I just ate some spicy bits there. Wow. But that, but I was just saying to her that Koliba Kamzik looks like the famous cause it's right in front of the place. So like you could get the more touristic maybe. And this one is, it's called grandmother, so hey, yeah, could be more authentic. But the other place is nice. I don't know. I don't know. This one we just came here because we we're kind of fed up from walking with Enzo because <laughs> he's acting bad. So then we just said, you know, we're just gonna sit down, give him some tata, have a drink, and wait it out. But overall, I think this was a good choice. What do you think? The taste is amazing. It's yeah. So good. Now what's we'll the price? <laughs> She's stealing my food. <laughs> She's stole everything. The total price for a beer, a water, goulash, and what did you get? Uh, beef stroganoff. It came to guess. She doesn't know. 60. Fifty euros, but we gave him a ten euro tip. That's good. That's good. Codito, codito. No, that's good. It's okay. That's good. That's good. But now we're gonna end our trip here Mickey has to go chase Enzo but look at this right outside the restaurant now the streets of Bratislava are bumping before it was quiet but remember click like subscribe and share we're out here in Bratislava today lucky 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 lucky